Hey guys, Johnny here. Look what we got. Oh, I got it. one of my old cases of cars. Some Mickey D. And look at this. 99 cents for a bag and box full of stuff. Now this was a separate purchase somewhere else, but still cool. I think it was only a buck. So, uh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not going to look at all these cars today, but we'll get a good start going. <laughs> you ready? Wash your hands! Oh my. Hey cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. Look at these boys rumbling to town with their matchbox and hot wheel military. Get the chip beef! It's a special edition. Coolest, fastest boys are rolling in. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Oh, welcome back to the supper club. And let me tell you, uh, if you guys are getting quarantined from work, I'm going to move this out of the way. You've got... 850 some videos of old Johnny that you can watch when you're quarantined catch up on some old cool stuff so here we go now this was at a uh, thrift store and again these guys they know how people steal everything in sight so they tape them up good which is good to try and prevent all that from happening and who knows what, but, oh, look at these. These are fun. Now, <laughs> always good to save your bags because you never know when you're going to need one. Now, this one, <laughs> this is Soda Pop's favorite. He loves the little imports. He's got an S2000 now. He's rocking that thing out in Tempe, Arizona area. So if you see him, tell him, hey, from old dad. <laughs> but look at this. This is a Pixar from the first movie. I love this thing. So much fun. But this one caught, kind of caught my eye. Action News 68. Look at that. That one's a Hot Wheel. Whoa, fumbly dumbly fingers. Look at this. What does that say? Custom 77 Dodge Van. Kind of cool. I like that one. And then this. Looky, looky. What is this? Too exotic for me. Oh, uh, is that a Saturn or something? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Infinity 637 from 2010. So those are the Hot Wheels that I'm going to start out with, but look at my bucket. My bucket, baby. Oh, now this one was sitting just kind of, it's like the trailers are always, or the cabs are always gone on this, but I'm hoping that I'll find a trailer for it. It is a Hot Wheel. See? It's just got to find the thing for it. But six wheels in the back and purple very cool but look at all these army men oh and that's this was the kind of cool thing for me now the bucket is just a uh, pink so Trixie will like it but look at all these things now they had these little cheap cheap super cheapy deepy plastic trucks but I'm telling you there is something about these that I just really enjoy. There's some writing in there. I know you can read. U.S. Ambulancy L18FT. And there's the manufacturer, MPC. But look at how cool that is. Oh, there it is, a little symbol on the side. Totally love that. Got a little half track missing its whatever gear on top and maybe it's in there another oh look at this a personnel carrier these are all my roco mini tanks totally cool oh it's got a hitch and again oh does it say more 
Oh, there it is. U.S. Prime Mover. Oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. They... So what is this one? German. Heavy. Weapons. Carrier. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Again, cheap plastic, but look at the details they put into it, and then they tell you what it is. Light tank. L20 foot. US M59. Look at that. <laughs> oh, so crazy, all this stuff. Oh, tank missing its turret. Oh, what is this? French light tank AMX 13 well you guys that know your French light tanks <laughs> wee wee baby you would know exactly what that looks like I have no clue <laughs> oh look at this one kind of fun tanks are cool for me here it is Oh, it's Great Britain's Sarkin Armored Recon. Look at that thing. And again, for just being little plastic things. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love the little experimenters. Oh, these guys are show rod people for sure. So let's pull that baby off. It's a USSR tank. And we'll save that for later. Hopefully it'll match up with something. <laughs> Talk about not having toilet paper. Ouch. Don't be go hoarding toilet paper, please. Oh, look at this one. This one's very cool. Come on. Come on, we're up here. There we go. Look at that. German Panzer. Is that a German Panzer? I thought this was an American. That doesn't look Panzer to me, but... Oh, I know some of you tank guys out there. Patton Tank. That might be the patent tank one. What do you think? That is definitely not a Panzer. Is it a patent tank one? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I know some of you guys are screaming, Not that one, you Melvin! <laughs> hey, sorry to all you Melvins out there. I love that name. Oh, look at this. Another... Oh, he's got a little saggy, <laughs> a little saggy on the uh, barrel. German armor, armored scout car. Pretty cool. Look at all these things. What? I mean, literally, what do you... Oh, here it is. That looks like a Russian tank. Didn't we have a Russian tank? USSR tank. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's way too big. Look at that thing. Whoop! Up! Oh, hit the floor. Hang on. Oh, back again. Oh, that bending over is getting tough and tougher. You guys know. Oh, look at this truck. These things are cool. I, I, you know what? Again, you know, being Great Britain, being like super duper duper do Hot Wheel collector people, and then you see these things, no one wants them. <laughs> That's why this whole bucket was 99 cents. No one wants this stuff. But look how cool it is. To me, Coolsville. Oh, U.S. Half Track. There's all your mumbo jumbo stuff on there. Look at that. Look at the details on that for this little cheap plastic thing. So I'm guessing if you paint that baby up, it could be good. Oh, look at that's a tiger tank. Right? 
big square monster. Is it a tiger? One, two, three, four, five, seven, ten. German tiger tank. I got one right. Oh, look at that. But this is not a tiger tank uh, turret, but that's about how big. That's a big guy. Slightly different colored plastics. It's another little clue. Oh, what's this? Look at this little Jeep. Little US Jeep on there. Very cool. Quarter ton. US Jeep. Four by four. Look at all those little tanks. I'm trying to go through this to see if there's any more of those little. Oh, look at here. Now that's. Now that's a Tiger Tank turret, right? Oh yeah, baby. We got little, little Teddy Fendergrass making uh, changes on these tanks. Which one was the Tiger Tank? Oh, this one's a Tiger. You like it on that one? Oh yeah, that one's pretty good. There's actually two tigers. This one was a tiger too. It might actually look better on that. It looks a little small on this. Let's see it on this one. Oh, it's like it's a hair too big. So I'm guessing uh, 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 this one right here. Look at that. We got a tiger tank there, folks. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this thing. U.S. personnel carrier. It's like a little weasel. But it's bigger. Whoa. Armored personnel carrier. USSR. 24 foot. Whoa. That is amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a missile launcher. Do you remember the Roco Mini Tanks missile launcher on this? I know I should be washing my hands, touching this stuff from the thrift store. Oh, maybe we can find the pieces in there. That would be cool. What does it say under here? Oh, it's real tiny. Honest John. Rocket Prime Mover. Look at all those things. Ah, oh, then we got a civilian car. Pretty cool. Don't see anything on the inside except maybe an E. Pretty neat. What else? I know there's got to be something else good in here. Bunch of army men. Look at this. Here's a tripod of some sort for a big gun. Oh, it might be this gun. Let's see if we have the parts. Look at this. It's like a ray gun that uh, from those super cheap little sets that I got. I showed them to you over Christmas time. A little tiny and full color, but look at that. That is pretty cool. Now this is a, like a heavy plastic something and much bigger, but it's cheapy deepy. It's no Roco mini tanks. Made in Hong Kong. Maybe other writing on there. But look at that. That vehicle's kind of cool. Let's scoot some of this aside. See what else we got in here. Oh, look at this. A aqua car. Amphibic. Jeep. An amphibian. Look at that. <laughs> I tell you, these little plastic dudes are really cool. So look at this. I got a little Jeep guy. And there's little guys here. 
look they got a little they got a well they got a big hemorrhoid going there kids luckily you're 18 and older you need to learn about hemorrhoids okay and this guy sits in the Jeep like that pretty cool huh what else do we got here Oh, some sort of... Oh, there's our gun. Busted, of course. But you can kind of see it. Like it. It's missing a tab on this side, but that's okay. Any good modeler can fix a good... Good, uh... Parts thing. Oh, look at this. Now, we just have the body on this truck. Not quite sure what it is. But that's okay. Then we got this. Look at this. This was kind of cool to me. Oh, look, there's a little guy in there. And again, this is just lightweight plastic made in Hong Kong. Is there something else in there? Something else is rattling around in there. Oh, the guy that probably sat in the passenger side. Look at this, a little personnel carrier. Again. Tanks. But again, like I said, it's like lightweight, cheapy plastic. And here's Jeepy plastic. Pretty cool. And here is the big tankinator. Did we have a big turret? I thought so, but maybe not. Oh, another Jeep? So you could do like a rat patrol. Remember rat patrol where they're driving through the sand? Here's another truck. Missing whatever's on there. Here was one of my favorites. Jeep. I would drive one of these. 1943 power wagon Dodge in real life if I could find one at a reasonable rate in working condition I always thought that was cool it does have the the red cross on the top there so there's a bunch of vehicles there oh look at this there's a rocket launcher Again, these are just like those little tiny ones, but made out of hard plastic. Oh, here it is. Here's the top of the tank. That works there, totally. Pretty cool, missing some wheels. Oh, look at this gun. Again, it's like, why did these kids bust up their toys so bad? Here's a some wheels so maybe that goes oh big fuzz bunny maybe this goes like here so you got part of it maybe they're trying to customize and they busted it and then gave up and they're like mom give this to the thrift store it's like okay oh look a truck from the little cars look at that sweet thing it's an eager beaver <laughs> I didn't know there was so many in there oh there's got to be something else in here here's one wheel so that looks like it came off of something big like the tank nope it's even bigger than the tank maybe the tank had like big wheels in the front and little in the back or something now this was, you know, just loose. And let me tell you, this thrift store was like a garbage pit. It was like the worst of the worst garbagey garbage that you could ever see. Look at here's a little pistol. Goofy. But there's some weird figures in there like this guy. Look at this guy. Yellow and yellow. It's hard to see. But look, his hands are open like he's... Oh, maybe he's holding a pistol. Oh, that's too big for him. <laughs> I thought that guy was kind of cool. And look at this guy. 
He's got a wrench in his hand. It looks like he could be a construction worker, lineman or something. Again, something you don't see always. Kind of bigger too. So, 143rd scale maybe. And then this guy. Like the old milkman. Sometimes these were Tootsie Toys. Now this is a pretty rough casting, but still these figures always cool. And look at this guy, he's sweeping. Pretty neat. Here's an old amputee. Sometimes that happens. You can still go on in life. He was a bowler, I think. He was bowling. Here's another one. Oh, he's got he was holding something. Spaghetti. Just about to cook a batch of spaghetti or something. I'm just trying to see. You know, a lot of these are typical army men. Not this guy, though. Not quite sure what he's doing. Look at the detail, though. That's pretty cool. That, that color. You can see those colors, guys. They're... Oh, look at this. It's like a fireman in a hazmat suit. Getting ready to go to work. You know, because they... You know, everyone's got to wear a hazmat suit now. Look at this. What is this guy? Maybe he's feeding in the hazmat suit guy. Now most of these other things are just, oh look at this guy, he's gold, a lot of detail, you figure painters can really uh, do something good with these guys, no markings, number 22, but you guys that deal with figures and, and uh, scale models type of things, maybe you know, here's a, oh he's going, hey baby. Check me out. Let me drop my shades and look over them to be extra cool. Spaceman or race car driver? I'm guessing race car driver. That's pretty cool. What is this thing? I have no idea. Pretty wild goes around something, snaps, oh this is a different color one, oh look at this guy, again great detail, oh he's got a seam line going right down his face, I don't know what he's holding but there's a lot of those guys holding out something for something, another guy, oh he's he got shot in the face or something, kids do not shoot people in the face not good oh we got this thing this is the most important piece whatever that is oh look at here's a green guy with big hands holding up something I don't see any loose weapons yeah these are like guys with removable guns do you remember removable guns? I don't. I mean, like, this was my typical guy, you know? But even this one's cool without the base. He's got a shell to help him stand upright. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can you see that? It's a robot. Oh, that is hilarious. I know figures are born to most of you guys, but not to me. Oh, look at this. It's Elvis dancing. Or Buck Rogers riding a horse. That's what I'm guessing. Look at that. He's at the rodeo or something. Oh, here's a little bomb. Oh, uh, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm done and looking figure. Oh, I've never seen one like this. Oh, 
Oh, that is so cool. Here's a hand grenade. Oh, I'm going to turn this off and look through and see if there's anything else. Hang on. Oh, so I found one more kind of cool guy. This guy. He's going, welcome home. So, that's pretty cool. Then, we got these. Fast and Furious Spy Racers from McAdoo. <laughs> Kids, how do you rip into these things? So, these were part of a fun youth group night where the leader asked who can eat stuff fast, and all these kids. Oh, oh look, it raised up. Goes low, raises up. So, he asked these kids who. Who can eat McDonald's Happy Meal really quick? And they're like, I can, I can. And they're all racing to get a McDonald's Happy Meal. Well, guess what? There was a little tricky dicky to it. So the tricky dicky says, Oh, just before they're about to eat everything, he puts all the food in a blender. And he blended it all up, and it was crazy. <laughs> the kids had to chug it. <laughs> oh, it's a crazy youth group. Here's one sticker. Let's see if I can do this without getting it all goofy goober on there. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the thing and not on the camera, and it's not too bad for quickie Ricky okay here we go here's another one so you got to look at the little decals and let me tell you building models as a kid always helps it tells you right where it goes so this is C goes here right around that now these are sticky and big fat fingers you know always don't mix too well but if you can control those big fat fingers, it works good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at that. Looky, looky. So, <laughs> don't look too close, though. So, then where else does this go? We've got a couple stripes. Go on the back here. Now, these are just stick on. Sometimes you got to deal with decals and oh I know I know you're going this is killing me so this goes right here now the question is look at this they already had some green on that fender so we're just adding to the green and they did a pretty good job on the printing matching the plastic painting or whatever you call it sometimes it's hard to get it started with those big fat fingers so you just kind of bend it up a little bit here we go oh I think that should have been on top more on the side I don't know I'm putting it on this little flat part here get her started get her done there you go. Close enough for government work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is... We got uh, E and B. And here we go. B is on this side. So let's take B off. And that's not Aunt B, for those who loved the Andy Griffith show back in the day. Okay. Oh, I don't, I think it goes on this side. I think they got their letters backed up. Because see that little curve that goes around the handle? So no wonder kids get screwed up on this stuff. Sometimes you gotta look because yes, people can be wrong with what they're doing. 
because they don't care about their jobs and they're not paying attention. But you can pay attention at your job and then you can be Johnny Star. Look at that. Now where does this Fast and Furious go? On the bottom side, all serious, where no one can see it. Okay. Now you know how to put stickers on a Mickey D. Oh. You want it reading this way? I do. Look at that. I wonder if I can get even my fat fingers in there. Good enough. Got her sticky. Little crooked. Shows it's homemade. Look at that. Oh, that is kind of cool. So here is the other Mickey D's, Fast and Furious, Netflix, now streaming. Okay, tell them Johnny sent you. Doesn't matter because no one's advertising and no one's making money over here. So, oh look at these stickers, pretty fancy. And there's where you put it on the bottom. So what does this one do? Oh, look. <laughs> okay enough of that okay sorry I'm a little anal I gotta put these stickers on I'm guessing seagulls on the hood always oh <laughs> always read the directions unless you think you know better and then you can screw it up have your girl or wife tell you I told you so and then go read the directions do it right just save the hassle, just read it from the beginning. Oh, that's crooked. So, peel it off gently. Okay. Ah, <laughs> that a little crooked. That's okay. Oh, what is this? Seriously, you got a blob on the door, A. Eh? Blob on the door. Got kind of like a dinosaur head or something. So that dinosaur head goes in the front. So that one would be this, I think. But again, the great thing about all this stuff, this is your car. And if you don't like it, you can just go buy another Mickey D's and put the stickers on any way you want. Because in America, everyone's a winner. There's no losers. Until you actually do lose and then you can't handle it and flip out and stuff. And so, oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. ha <laughs> ha. I'm getting an extra layer on this or not enough layer so let's see this goes on the back pointy towards the front so like that Ooh. I'm gonna put one here and one there and see what happens. Like I said, kids, everyone's a winner when it comes to stickers in a car. Look at that. That looks like. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor. Man, if Trixie was here, she'd be going, Dad, Dad. Okay. Come on, come on, baby. So, this video is getting kind of long. Sorry about that. So, I am going to give you a teaser of the next round of cars. Look at that. Barely even see it. Now, oh, I gotta get this one to get this. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got lift off. See that that extra layer of paper was coming up, and it wasn't exposing this sticky, sticky part. So I think I did it this way, where it kind of went right around that doorknob. Oh, look at this sticky! 
like Ray Rayner. Those guys that love Ray Rayner back in the day. Oh, that's close enough. Just put her down, commit to it, and move on. Like I said, if you don't like the ways that stickers turn out, you can try and soak them off or get them off somehow. Or just go buy another Happy Meal, get another car. Oh, now. Oh, this is super sticky, sticky stuff. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so those are those. These are these. And here's the cards that will please. <laughs> so, you ready? I'm going to lay this down. And we're just going to take a little peek into this to see what is coming down the road. Oh, look at all these cars. Some pretty cool ones, some new, some old. Some good condition, some not. Oh, some wrapped up, so we have no idea what they even are. Oh, and here on the other side. And like I said, we'll take a look at these another video. Ready? <laughs> hey, thanks for coming into the supper club. This is what we got for about two bucks and a little change. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Love all the figures. Now, I do have all the army men that are just kind of normal guys in there. We got some Mickey D. Ready? 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 Mickey D. D! Oh, and these little tanks are so cool. Hey, thanks for coming in to the Supper Club. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club. Now, we will see you on the flip-flop on that orange black top, which nothing's happening. Oh, so much is going on. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching. We will see you. Like they said at Woodstock, this is a free concert, man. The barricades are down and no one's advertising. <laughs> Rock on, my friends. Rock on, says the robot. Yeah, wash your hands and don't go crazy. <laughs>